Good morning, everyone. Welcome to the New York Times Heart Sudoku. It's Sunday, June 23rd. I can start by putting a 2 in row 1 and a 5 in row 3, based on the relative positions of 5 and 2 in the other two rows on the top 3. In the middle three rows, the only three one digit I have as a repeat is a 7. In the bottom three rows, I get all three 8s. I don't get all three 6s. But I can place a 6 in one of two spots. If I go by columns, I have no repeats in the left three. The middle three, I have 9, 8, 7, 6, 2, 5, 2, 8, 2. So I'm going to get an 8 in two spots in column 6. A 7, and actually in the same two spots, I have a hidden 7, 8 pair. And I get all three twos. On the right, I'll have a one that's actually placed. In column nine, that allows me to place a one in one of two spots in row six. And then I get a five in column seven. And nothing else to go with it. Okay, the middle sections of the grid are quite helpful. Column four, has two, six, seven, eight, nine place. I need one, three, four, and five. This cell can't be one or three. Well, this one could be three. Okay, so three ends up there, which means it's here. That one's down to four or five. That one is one, four, or five. These ones can't be five, so they are one, three, or four. Two, five, nine in box two gives one, three, four, six, seven, eight. But these two are going to be from one, three, four, six. Neither can be seven or eight. Okay, box 8 is also quite helpful. I have 5 digits there also. I need 4, 5, 1, and 9. So, no, oh, these can't be 1, so 1's up there. Which means 1 is those two, not here, so that's a 1 immediately. And therefore, one of those two is a 1. No. This one and this one will force it here, and I meant to put the one in those two. Two, three, six, seven, eight. I need one, four, five, and nine. Well, this can't be one. Okay, that's not terribly helpful. Uh, these five are not two, seven, eight. Two aren't one or three. Yeah, I don't have much to go with it. Row four has one, five, seven, eight. I need two, three, four, six, nine, but the cell that's highlighted can be any of the five. Those are two, four, six, nine, neither can be three. Well, actually, these aren't six either. These are not 1, 3, 5, or 6. They are from 2, 4, 7, 8, 9. And I don't get much help with it otherwise. These cells are not 1, 6, or 8 down in box 7. Oh, this sees 2, 3, and 7, along with 4. Okay, that's helpful. I totally missed that I had 5 digits in row 9. I need 4, 5, 6, and 9. It 
see, that horseshoe pattern is neither one nor eight. Five and six both look in there, along with two and three from the column. So, okay, none of these are eight. So eight's in one of those two cells. Which puts an eight in one of these two. One, two, three, five, I need. Okay, this is from four, six, seven, eight, nine. No help otherwise. And we know those aren't six. Let's see, these aren't one or seven. None of those are six. None of these are two or three. Those aren't eight. These aren't four. And that one's not six. I have no help. The only thing I've placed in here is a four. These aren't five. Those aren't seven. Or one. None of these are two or five, or one. These are six. Okay, I end up with a rather annoying configuration of things, but these can't be six, and we know those weren't six. Six is in two places in column five, therefore that one is not six. I put six in one of those two. Okay, not, none of those are two, so these are two. Therefore, this isn't, and neither is that. So, yeah, these can't be two. These must be two, so two can't go here, and it can't go here. So the two in box six ends up being a hidden derived digit. See, that puts three in one of those two in column eight. Therefore, these two were not three. That puts three in one of these. Because these can't be three. Oh, could that be three? Yep, that, that, that's a three. Okay, how do I derive that those were three? I may have been, been mistaken there. Yeah. Ah. This can't be three by given. This can't be three by given. Three in column eight must go here. Therefore, those cannot be three. And since these aren't three, three must be in one of these two. And now I've got two and three in the same two spots in the region. So this turns into a two or three pair, doesn't it? That puts five at the bottom left, six therefore at the bottom right of box nine. So those are not six. I've got four, seven, eight, nines interacting in column nine 
and in box six and almost in column seven, but not quite. See, the 5 in row 9 places the 9, and that's going to undo a lot. Only the 9 places the 4. So, column 9 is reduced to a 7, 9. These can't be 7 or 9. So, 8 and 4 are placed. This is not eight. This is neither four nor eight. Four in row two will place the three, and then the one, and then the six, and then the four, and then the eight in row one places seven eight, which re solves that pair. Box three, I think, just finished. Three six four eight. Nine, that's seven. Okay, this can't be one, so that one is in box five, which also places the six. Three nine pair in column five means this can't be nine, so it's a one. Let's see, this can't be one, so that one is in box one. I have a lot to clean up. Three, six, eight, that's a five. This is seven. Eight. Okay. I have a six, nine pair left in row two. This ends up as a two, three in row one. The eight in column one places a five further down the road and reduces column one down to a two, three. The 5 in row 6 will place the 4 and then the 5 in column 4. 4 9 pair in column 6 make that 5. These aren't 5. These aren't 5. That's not 4. That's not 5. The 4 and the 5 in row 6 places the 6, then the 8. The 6 in row 2 will place the 9 6 in the row, which places 3 9 in row 4. The three in column five, the two in row five, two, three in column one is done. And at this point, I believe I'm done. All I'm doing is just filling in digits. Yeah, not the prettiest way to get there, but I got there. Although I didn't think I had to do much in the way of derivations on this one either. 13 minutes, not too shabby. Hopefully you all enjoyed this. Let me know how you did the comments.